guess what time it is again today. I'm gonna try not to crinkle the bag, but it's another Uniqlo review. And this week's video is brought to you by none other than me, Mary, my last night's skincare, and where is it? My sun bum, sun protecting chapstick. I have a couple of items that I picked up. Some of them were on sale from Uniqlo, some of them were not on sale, but they each have their own little things that interested me. So I'm gonna go through today and do a first impressions, just kind of opening them, looking at the construction, the quality of the material, and just kind of telling you about anything else that I think of when I first initially come in contact with the clothes in this bag. Then I'm gonna try them on, style them, talk about the fit, if I like them, if I don't like them, if I'll be returning them, Maybe I ordered the wrong size. I don't know. So without further ado, let's cut this bag open. I'm so excited. <laughs> Does anybody else use the kitchen scissors for unauthorized things? This is for you, Tyler. Tyler's my fiance, and he does not like when I use the kitchen for unauthorized uses. Okay, let's see the first item that I got. Mm. See, I'm hoping I didn't pick the wrong size in some of these items because I am directly in between a size medium and a small. And sometimes that causes issues, but I prefer my items personally to fit, if anything, a little bit looser. So keep that in mind. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the ribbed cropped bra sleeveless top in the color 01 Off White. A couple of details that interested me about this top was that it has a built-in bra. I like that the shell or the outer portion of the top with the pattern on it is mostly cotton. Other than that, I did really like the striped pattern personally. I believe they have this specific top in kind of the inverted color way. So mostly black with white stripes, which I actually really maybe prefer that color way a little bit more, but this is the one I got, the white with the black stripes. I got it in a size medium because normally my waist, my torso, like my whole body is a size small, but other things are a size medium. So I just have trouble picking out tops sometimes and I kind of have to compromise sometimes on the fit because of that, but that's okay. So far, my initial thoughts are I really like the material. Now I know it says in the name of the top that it's ribbed, but keep in mind that means that there's a subtle ribbed texture to the top, which I think has its place in my wardrobe. I also like the fact that it is, I like the cut of the top as well. I like that it goes up a little higher. It seems like it's something that's very practical because remember, here on this channel, I talk about clothing, but I want it to be practical and or comfortable and or make me happy or any combination of the three. And I think this top is gonna be comfortable and practical. I'm excited to see if it fits in uh, every single area. There's not much more to say about it. It's a basic. I like the texture. I like the materials made out of, and I like the pattern. So all we gotta do is try it on. Let's go. So I absolutely love this top. You know how sometimes tiny tanks can be hard to weasel your way in and difficult to take off? I'm so happy I ordered the size medium. It's the perfect, comfy, stretchy fit. And I think it's really important to take note that Unlike some of the other products I've reviewed from Uniqlo, this one is exactly as it appears online. Exactly. 
Now look at the built-in cups that are sewn in. Finally, thank you for listening. What it looks like in person versus what it looks like on the website is just exactly the same. If I could have reached through the screen and just grabbed it off the screen and brought it into my house and tried it on, that's how exactly similar this top was to the online listing as it was in real life. I would give this top a 10 out of 10. I look forward to buying this top in the other colorway. I think it's that well constructed, that beautiful, that comfortable and I'm gonna keep it. Let's reach into the bag of magic and see what we're going to pick out next. Ooh, these are just called the parachute pants, baby. And I love parachute pants. If you haven't seen my Uniqlo video on their pants, go ahead and watch it. I talk about their cargo pants, which gives me very similar vibes looking at this picture to the parachute pants. So. It's very important to note that I'm right in between a small and a medium. The small fits by all accountability perfectly, but during certain times of the month or after a large meal, your tummy can grow and it, they're a little bit uncomfortable. So I thought, well, maybe I should try ordering the medium. And I personally, again, like my clothing in more of a loose, flowy fit. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I ordered a medium, but I'm a little nervous to try them on because if they don't fit, I'm going to be really sad. And these were on sale, the parachute pants. So they might have sold out in my size by now, so I might not even be able to exchange them. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's open them up and see if I even like the fabric. They're supposed to be lightweight, soft, smooth texture, and the one thing that really kind of lured me into these pants is that they have a TF of 50, which is the ultraviolet protection factor. So it's basically the clothing's capability and ability to filter out all of those harmful rays from the sun that can give you a sunburn, cause premature aging, or even skin cancer. So I love when clothes have UPF because they might as well, right? Well. I think so. Let's open them. I got them in the 30 natural color. And Uniqlo has this really cool thing on their website where they have, if not for all of their clothes, for most of them, a spot in the description where it says if, if it's sheer or not. Now all of the other colors in the parachute pants were labeled not sheer except for the 30 natural. So. We know that they're gonna probably be a little bit sheer. So far, I really love the texture. It is very light and I like that it's light in texture and light in color because it's gonna be a great summer pant for me, I think. Ooh, and I think that medium, I think that medium was the move. Just looking at this, I'm very excited. Some things that I'm sure that they state on the website, but that I probably just didn't pay attention to is there is one pocket on the bootay and then there's two regular side pockets on the front. I can definitely see that it's going to be a little bit see-through, but that's something that doesn't bug me. If it bugs you, then make sure that you select a different color because this color is definitely going to be see-through. But so far, I like the pockets in this Ooh, they feel you know what they remind me of these remind me of beach pants or in my case river pants i love to go to the river i'm absolutely obsessed i'm like a labrador retriever if i was a labrador retriever i would definitely be a red labrador retriever because i just jump in the river float down about 100 feet get out jump in again you get it the cycle goes on and these pants have mesh pockets and I like mesh pockets because if there's like sand or anything and you know you know beach people know river people know mesh pockets I like that I like that a lot I also like the little detail of having two cinchers along the waist because I think that's useful and if the medium is a little bit too 
big, then I can just cinch it up a little bit. I think that's great. Something that I noticed in the product picture for the Uniqlo parachute pants is that the ankle cinches are cinched in every product photo. And I wanna see what they look like when they're uncinched and worn by a human. They have these little cinchers around the ankles so that you can either cinch them or uncinch them. And I'm excited to see if they work nicely. I wanna loosen the cinch device all the way and see if the pant is able to be all the way loose. Cause they arrived in the bag just like a teeny bit cinched, but I wanna see, can I wear them 100% uncinched? And you can, yay, awesome. So they, what they did is they did put enough string here to wear the pants totally flared out if you wish. And of course you can adjust it to be cinched as well. It's kind of a close call though. They barely left us enough string to be fully uncinched, but I'll deal with that later. It is a process to kind of uncinch it and cinch it, which I don't even mind because if it was easy to cinch and uncinch, then it would probably be easy to cinch and uncinch on itself when you don't want it to, right? When you're wearing the pants and you've already adjusted everything. So I'm happy with the device that they chose on these pants to adjust the cinching around the ankles. It seems quality, it seems like it's gonna work. And so far, I'm happy with the construction of the pants, the pocket details, the cinch around the waist and the ankle details, and the feel of the material. Those are the things that I like about these pants, but let's go see what they look like on. I've got things to say about Uniqlo's parachute pants. First off, I like the swishy noises they make. I think it's fun. The material is very, very comfortable. All of the cinching devices, the ones on the waist and the ankles are very quality, top notch. They work very well. I picked the right size when I decided to pick the medium. They do fit, they fit perfectly. I will say, I was interested in seeing what they looked like fully flared out. But what they did when they designed these pants is they made them longer than they needed to be so that when you cinched them at the ankles, they billowed a little bit. Think about like a puff sleeve top, but make it pants. And that's kind of what they did here. So I don't think it's actually realistic to wear these pants fully flared out because then they're just gonna be dragging on the ground. And that's obviously why they didn't show us them fully flared out in any of the product pictures is because they don't want you wearing them fully flared out. The construction, like I said, of these pants, the material and really everything about them I like except for the color. It's really hard to see in the video, but the color of these pants is a little bit too buttery for me. I want them to be less yellow. They have a pretty strong undertone of yellow. And I swear you can't see it in the video, but just trust me, it's too yellow. Unless that's something you're looking for, then by all means, go ahead. I should have purchased the gray in these pants, but they were out of stock when I wanted to order them. So I will be returning these pants because I don't see the color being something that I wear in my wardrobe. But if it was something that I did like the color of, then I would keep them because they are very comfortable. And surprisingly enough, they weren't as sheer as I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be way see-through. I'm wearing solid black boy cut shorts in this video and you can't see my undies at all. Oh, I think these are the pants that I was really excited about. So I have several pairs of parachute pants and I love them all. It's something that I know I like but I'm always trying to push the boundary of my fashion and try new things, new colors, silhouettes, textures, materials, shapes, just all of the above. So that's why I decided to try these ultra stretch airism straight wide pants. I got them in the color 09 black. 
Uniqlo says that, of course, they're ultra stretch. <laughs> they're a beautiful drape. They also have a UPF or ultraviolet protection factor of 50 plus and they're quick drying. It's kind of hard to see in this picture, but you'll probably be able to see in my try on portion what they mean by the beautiful drape. I was very torn on whether or not I should purchase these in black or gray, but I did go with black and I'm figuring if I really like them, I can go back and buy them in gray. The thing is though, that I don't normally wear black a lot. I don't reach for it. And I don't normally wear gray either. Again, I don't reach for it. But the gray kind of has a lavender or purple undertone that I'm really attracted to. And I have found that while I don't reach for black in my wardrobe, that I do reach for it when it's in pant form. So I'm excited. Another thing that I can't forget to say is that they say that the ultra stretch Arism straight wide pants, what a mouthful, is good for outdoor, like hiking, play, maybe the river, but they also say it's good for the office. And looking at them, I'd have to agree. Anyways, here they are in the bag. I got them on sale for $29.90. It looks like they're originally $39.90. Ooh, so far, they do feel kind of like an athletic pant. Almost like a cross between an athletic pant material and like a uh, work pant material. Like they said that straight up, it feels like a cross between the, like the actual physical material itself feels like a cross between a work wear slack pant and an athletic pant. I like it. It is soft. Yes, I think that medium will fit nicely, but we'll only be able to tell once I try it on. I wanna see that beautiful draping. Oh yeah. That's the draping they're talking about. Can you see it? All right, so I have thoughts. I like that the cincher is on the inside of the pant. So when you wear it, you don't see it. I think that looks very sleek. And it makes it look like they said, more like workwear and less like active wear. I'm not gonna wear this for workwear. I do not work an office job, but I like the more sleek vibe it gives, if you will. And I wanna look at the wideness of the pants too. Yeah, I think they're gonna be a good wideness. I don't know if I have much else to say about these pants, except for let's check out the pockets. The pockets are just regular. <laughs> Nothing crazy, nothing wild. They have two side pockets, no booty pockets. I like the texture. The draping is indeed nice, but other than that, there's not much to say. They seem like a great, sleek, elevated basic that I'm excited to try on. So let's go try it on. Let's talk about the Ultra Stretch Arism Straight Wide Pants. Since I recorded that last clip, it's been a week and I have been wearing these so often that I've had to wash them twice. I absolutely love them. They are totally correct when they say that they work well in the sun. Despite them being black, I feel like I didn't get too hot at any point during the time I wore these. I wore these in the... I don't know, the weather was in the 90 degrees Fahrenheit range to a Renaissance fair, and they performed so well. They protected me from the sun. I didn't get too hot. They dried quickly if I did get sweaty, and they were just a pleasure to wear because of the texture on my skin being comfortable. I think that, what am I saying? I know that I'm gonna buy these in the gray pair. All that to say is I've washed these pants several times. I keep reaching for them. I have for a week. And if there's anything in this video that you would buy, it would be these pants. And last but not least, I have the Ultra Stretch Arism Cropped T-shirt in the color 69 Navy. They say, tiny. They say that this has excellent stretch. It's quick drying. It's cool to the touch. And I did get this one on sale for 19. No, this one was not on sale. 
I got this one at cost for $19.90, which brings me to a really good point. Don't pay full price for Uniqlo. They're, they always have sales. Always, always, always. Now you do run the risk of them running out of the size or the color that you want if you wait for the sale. But more often than not, if you are really interested in a piece and you kind of keep a close eye on it, you can get it on sale. But I still don't think that $19.90 is a bad price for this top. I'm not upset. Now, this is the one thing that I wanted to talk about, and I had to wait until we got to this top before I could talk about it. I don't understand their airism line, their airism term, perhaps. I don't understand it because this ultra stretch airism cropped t-shirt does not have UPF. But the pants that I just talked about, their ultra stretch airism straight wide pants does have UPF. And tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like when I hear the word airism, I should automatically know that all airism products have X, Y, and Z. I do not like that some of their airism products have UPF, some don't. I want to know what their core, core claims are for their airism lines, and I want it to be the same across the board. I don't want some to have UPF, some not to have UPF, some to be quick drying and others not to be quick drying. When I see the word airism at Uniqlo, I feel like it should mean the same thing for every item. But if you know better than me and I'm missing something, please educate me because right now that's just something that's a little bit irritating for me. But speaking of the t-shirt and speaking of sizing, I wanted this shirt to fit like a baby tee. And in this specific product photo, it looks like it's more of a tight fit, which is what I wanted, which is something that's not normal for me. Normally, I like to wear oversized t-shirts, but I've come to realize that in some scenarios, I like a nice little baby tee. I think it can be super cute. But again, I'm right in between the medium and the small sizes at Uniqlo and I don't think I have wide shoulders, but apparently all the garment companies that make clothing think I have wide shoulders because sometimes my shoulders have trouble fitting in to tops. So I'm very interested to see how this top fits because I did get the small. Oh my God. Okay, so this is their Arism t-shirt and it's drying it dries quick and it's cool to the touch it's been really hot in Colorado and right now I'm actually pretty toasty I don't think this is very cool to the touch personally but maybe I have to wear it out and about before I can actually understand that mm. I might fit perfectly it might be a tad small it might not fit other portions of my body. But again, just like the last pants that I talked about, it's a pretty simple basic. I like the color. There's no loose threads. It seems very well constructed. Other than that, I think I really have to try it on before I can give you my full review on the top. But it seems like a really, it's soft. This is so soft. But I will tell you what, this is why I'm a little confused by their Airism collection because my fiance has two t-shirts from the men's Airism collection and they feel a lot more athletic, if that makes sense. They feel like a lot more, I'd have to go look at the material content, but they almost feel plasticky or like spandexy, kind of like that polyester athletic feel, just a little bit, which I don't like in t-shirts, but I ordered this Arism women's t-shirt anyways because I just wanted to see what it was all about. And it's a totally different texture. This texture is like a, hmm, it feels very familiar. It's just like a very soft, thicker 
cotton t-shirt. And the inside is more of like the kind of athletic feel, which is very interesting to me. And another thing I'm just now noticing is that the seam at the bottom of the t-shirt is glued, question mark, ironed, question mark. It's not sewn. How interesting is that? And the sleeves are the same way. Wow. I, it's like seamless. Seamless. I mean, obviously it has a seam. They like glued it or used some sort of, I don't even know what they would use to do that, but that's pretty neat. Okay. So the two armholes and the bottom portion of the top do not have sewn seams. And then the neck is a sewn seam. All right. Well, let's go try this one on too. I'm excited to see what it looks like on the ultra stretch arism cropped t-shirt but before we dive in i'm just gonna let you know that i don't wear bras and that's exactly how i'm going to review this top so i think i finally determined that i'm just a size medium in uniqlo items because while this does fit in the tight cute baby tee style that i was hoping for I feel like it needs to be like half an inch longer and that it is quite tight around the seam that isn't actually a seam. And you can see here on the back that the shoulders where the seam is, is just a little bit off. It should be a little bit bigger. And I'm curious if I bought this t-shirt in a size medium, if it would still give me the baby tee look but actually fit, or if it would just look like a regular cropped t-shirt. And I want it to be tight. So besides the proportions being off, which is totally my fault, I do like the material on this t-shirt, and I would be curious to order it in the correct size. They just don't really have any colors that I like, including the blue one that I did purchase. So for that reason, along with my mistake of the sizing, I'm going to return it, but I would still recommend this top. So let's talk about the clothing items. You probably have a pretty clear picture of any issues that I had, any likes that I had, anything that I'm getting rid of or anything that I'm keeping, but let's wrap it up with a quick few final thoughts for each piece. We're going to start with the parachute pants and i said in my critique of the parachute pants that i didn't quite like the color but it was hard to see on camera so this is what i'm gonna do we're gonna compare it to the ribbed cropped tank top and i think you'll be able to really see what i'm talking about so take a look at that the parachute pants are a little too cream for me and cream is okay because look at the hat I'm wearing it's just that this cream leans a little too butter for me personally so that's the one and only critique that I actually have of Uniqlo's parachute pants I wish that they had a wider color range I know I mentioned that I'd be interested in getting the gray but the reason I'm interested in getting the gray is because it looks like it leans really blue. So I think if Uniqlo did a little bit of workshopping on the color selection for the parachute pants, then it would be a 100% yes from me. But I'm going to return the pants because they're just not in a color that I really would reach for. And I can say that confidently because I've had these clothes in my possession for about a week and a half and I just never felt the desire to reach for the parachute pants, which is really surprising to me because I like the cut, the functionality, how they're made, and every single aspect about them. It was just the color that I found difficult to pair with things that I personally have in my own wardrobe. But maybe you're in the market for a color of parachute pants just like this, in which case I would definitely recommend them. Next, I do actually want to talk about the ribbed cropped bra sleeveless top. I've been, it's been, gosh, wow, for the past couple of days, 
in Colorado, it's been above 100 degrees. So it's been really, really hot. And that's actually unheard of for where I live. And I reached for this top on multiple occasions. I found myself reaching for it if I wanted to be comfortable and kind of stay at home. But I also found myself reaching for it to style in fun ways. I wore it with the black pants that I also purchased to review for you and I really liked it. Other than that, all of the things that I liked for this top, I already spoke about when I reviewed it. So I think this top hits the mark on the head and I washed it last night for the first time and hung dry it. It's actually still a little bit damp. So it does, unlike the pants, it does take a little bit longer to dry. I can hang the pants up overnight and they're dry, but this I hung up about at 10 o'clock last night and it's still a little bit damp, but it washed really well. It still looks brand spanking new. I would just suggest to wash this with light or like colors and hang dry it. And I think that you'll find that this will stay in good condition. Part of me, like the chaotic good part of me wants to throw it in the dryer and see what happens because it is mostly cotton and cotton really does shrink. But I would be nervous to do that for fear that it would shrink too much. So I'm just going to wash it according to the care tag. But just know that I kind of want to toss it in the dryer. This is an A++. I will be ordering it in the inverted colors with the black with white stripes. Absolutely obsessed. The next item I want to talk about is our Ultra Stretch Airism Cropped T-shirt in the color 69 Navy. And this is the same thing pretty much as the ribbed cropped bra sleeveless top. I pretty much already said everything that I liked or didn't like about this. But just like the parachute pants, I wish they'd worked shopped their color selection a little bit more. For this, I couldn't really tell you what colors I do want. I can really only tell you that I don't love pretty much any of the colors that they do currently have. They have an off-white that I might be interested in, but I'm, I don't think that this top is very cooling, it being part of their Arizon collection, and it just feels a little too hot and constricting on me, which could be partially my fault for selecting a size small instead of a size medium. But just for those few reasons, I will be returning this. And I don't think right now that I would be interested in repurchasing it unless it was just to show you all the small versus the medium fit. I would be interested in doing that, but I don't know. It just didn't hit the mark for me. It's a good top if you're looking for kind of a baby tee that is very, very soft, then I think this is gonna be for you. But I would say I don't think that I agree with that this being part of the Arism collection. I don't think it's as cooling as some of the other products in their Arism collection, for sure. And the last, but certainly not least, because this is probably my favorite item of the entire review. It's hard to say because I do really like the ribbed, cropped, striped top, but these pants, they really do take the cake. And that's the Ultra Stretch Arrows and Straight Wide Pants. I pretty much, again, already said everything that I love about these pants. I will be buying the gray pair for sure. I absolutely love them. The one thing that I didn't state about these pants that I really, 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 really did like is that you can wear them multiple times without having to wash them in between and they stay fresh. So I would highly recommend these pants, like they said, for workwear or for outdoor wear. I think that they kind of give a sleek, elevated streetwear look. And especially for summertime, because I love streetwear for the wintertime because it's very practical to layer things and have puffer coats. But I was worried going into the warmer months how I would maintain my streetwear look. And these pants were 100% the answer. So I hope that I answered all of your questions in regards to the four items that I reviewed today. The items that... I kept washed well. The items that I am deciding not to keep were simply because of a stylistic choice 
not from a functionality or quality perspective. So I would say in the end, all four items were definitely a win. If there's anything else you'd like me to review, go ahead and comment it below. Or if you have any additional questions about Uniqlo or the items that I purchased and reviewed for you, again, let me know. But that is all that I have for you today. I had so much fun and I hope to see you next time and that you have a beautiful day. Bye.